Israel has openly blamed Trump for the misery that has befallen them. Please watch till the end as this news will make your day. Before we proceed, please take some precious seconds of your time and click the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell to receive the latest updates from us. Demise Tweeted Donald Trump about Jen, Imprint Milley, the former administrator of the Joint Heads of Staff, otherwise known as my commanders, Swindler. He said about former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy, otherwise known as my Kevin. Beast and unhinged neurotic, he marked the New York State head legal officer, Letitia James, who is arraigning the situation against him for his misleading valuations of Trump properties, disturbed, psycho and crackhead, he called unique examiner Jack Smith, who has charged him for his part in the, the 6th of January upset in Devor and his robbery of characterized records. We'll confront insane Nancy Pelosi who destroyed San Francisco, has her better half doing. Anyone know? He yelled at a convention, alluding to Paul Pelosi, who was almost killed by a sledge employing professional killer. A bigot. Taking part in an extramarital entanglements with the top of the pack or a gangster, he guaranteed about Fonnie Willis, the Fulton Province lead prosecutor in Georgia, indicting him for the Fonnie Ballardus conspire. Creature and savage sociopath, he called Alvin Bragg, the Manhattan lead prosecutor, who has accused him of mission payoff, Senator Charles Schumer's better half is running this body of evidence against me. He lied about a representative in the New York court, distinguishing her by name, for that offense, Manhattan High Court equity Arthur and Garin, who Trump recently said ought to be disbarred, gave a restricted gag rule precluding him from focusing on officials of the court. Obviously Trump's attack of Bragg, Willis and James, all dark, is an augmentation of his death, deep, rooted crusade for racial oppression, returning to his victimization dark lodging purchasers and his full page advertisements in the New York papers in 1989 requiring capital punishment for five dark and Hispanic adolescents, the Focal Park Five, who were honest of the charges against them. Yet, he currently has a bigger plan than a race battle to a great extent, Trump's deluge of assaults on judges, examiners, and witnesses is of a piece with his bigger undertaking to delegitimize and crush the foundations of government, including now the place of delegates through the notable first defeat of a sitting speaker. His objective in each field is something very similar to make the way to one-man rule, his threatening statements, actuations, and smears are more than explosions, they are articulations of aim for his next administration. The Constitution should be suspended to upset the consequences of the 2020 political decision, a gigantic extortion of this sort and extent considers the end of all guidelines, guidelines, and articles, even those tracked down in the Constitution, he has proposed. He has declared he will indict and detain his political rivals, I will delegate a genuine, unique examiner to pursue the most bad president throughout the entire existence of the USA, Joe Biden, the whole Biden wrongdoing family, and all others engaged with the obliteration of our races, borders, and nation itself. He has vowed to cleanse the government common assistance and supplant its representatives with Trump followers, you're terminated, get out, you're terminated, he said, rehashing his unmistakable expression from his TV program, The Student. You need to make it happen, secret government, Washington will be a totally better place, confronting 91 crime includes in for separate preliminaries, also, his second slander judgment in the E. Jean Carroll settled assault case, and the court requested unwinding of the Trump Association in New York for a really long time of monetary misrepresentation. Trump has not quit carrying out offenses, he has been a wellspring of unending dangers to explicit officials of the court that he understands may induce brutality against them, mixed with different calls for particular savagery like shooting sharp lifters. Shot. He yelled to a cheering group, in the event that individuals can't be paid off, reprimanded or pushed off, they should be offed, Jack Smith's filings to the Washington, D.C., 
court mentioning a gag request or running editorial on Trump's proceeding with wrongdoing wave. Like his past open disinformation crusade with respect to the 2020 official political decision, Smith expressed, the respondent's new extrajudicial proclamations are planned to subvert public trust in an establishment, the legal framework, and to sabotage trust in and scare people, the court, the jury pool, witnesses and examiners. In his assortment of Trump's most recent biased proclamations, Smith featured that Jen Milley, who Trump expressed had committed treachery and recommended that he ought to be executed, is an observer referred to in the prosecution, Smith resolved the issue of witness terrorizing and altering straightforwardly, in any event accepting that specific observers are not scared by the respondents' proclamations. Different observers see and might be impacted by how the litigant treats the people who are called to affirm for this situation. Furthermore, whether or unsure observers are scared by the litigant's extrajudicial explanations, the respondent ought not to be allowed to assault or support the validity of any observer in a way that could impact forthcoming hearers, adding new crime accusations against Trump for his unfortunate endeavors at witness altering would dial back the body of evidence against him. In any case, the unique examiner holds the choice of recording those charges later. Trump's fiery language could yet prompt further arraignments. Trump's aggressive messages are not just exposit blasts but rather unlawful endeavors to threaten observers and bias the jury, yet they are more than that as well. For Trump, the further the disassembly of law and order, the smoother the way to one-man rule, endeavoring to threaten officials of the court and to alter observers is more than his lawful system. It's vital to his all-encompassing political technique, he has fundamental reason, he is looking to sideline each establishment of government other than an administration he possesses, in which he isn't limited by sacred limits. By wiping out balanced governance, presently his getting ready for authoritarian rule, in 2020, under his aegis, the conservative alliance passed no stage at all, presently his inductions are the boards of the conservative stage on which all conservatives should run, his statements are his commitments of what is to come, he is moving past the legislative issues of complaint to the hazard of vengeance, making him their applicant, conservatives are promised to his viciousness and illicitness. In the event that he can get away from responsibility for his wrongdoings, law and order breakdowns, and the way is cleared for him, that is his vision, the crook is the political Trump, jumping all over the opportunity to propel the breakdown of the speakership as a chance to decrease another legislative body that may be a keep an eye on him, the less hindrances to one-man rule, the simpler his street back to force, the party's weakness is his solidarity. Kevin McCarthy's downfall appeared to him as a lucky opening to crush toward control the House, conservatives practice an unending vengeance, misfortune flinging bodies on the stage, they thrash at the leftists who, for the essential movement to clear, eliminated themselves to the saved seats in the Coliseum to watch the conservatives eat up their speaker, the conservatives faulted the leftists for neglecting to save McCarthy from the conservatives, McCarthy created to coordinate in his own. Obliteration after tolerating the speakership by concurring that a solitary part could document a movement to clear, Brutus, undisguised, was at that point prowling. McCarthy had placed a blade in his grasp in the principal scene, with McCarthy's body actually warm, the speaker expert temper, Patrick McHenry's most memorable demonstration, was to oust former speaker Nancy Pelosi from her hideout office, a little piece of land inside the state house, it turns out it was a last crime solicitation to McHenry from McCarthy, a fit going before meticulousness mortis. At the point when she was speaker, she concurred the blessing of the workplace to Dennis Hassard as a former speaker, however, long he stayed in the house before his pedophilia conviction, right now, McHenry made his clumsy motion, Palazzi was in California, having went with the body of her dear companion, Senator Diane Feinstein, to plan for a memorial service, he struck out at Palazzi like her removal rebuffed her, close by the conservative ousting of Kevin McCarthy, it was probably a Comparable bang of the vote-based speaker for the ramming of the conservative one, however, Palazzi had left the speakership in poise, gave off her twirly Jew, 
and stays as a distinction while McCarthy was detested, stomped on, and sliced to pieces by his own. She filled in as the speaker for a very long time, he finished eight months not exactly to term, the uprooting of conservative antagonism toward Palazzi just features their auto de fe of McCarthy, he is their former master of the flies, felled by the multitude of flies, McHenry's most memorable demonstration, charming himself to the A's of late, left laid out the tone of his considerably briefer temporary residency, McCarthy from the start attempted to play to the harassers, participated with the domineering jerks, was messed up by the harassers, and at last, read by the harassers. After he was tormented out, his non-entity replacement wrecked the fresh start with a little demonstration of harassing, the appetite games proceed, Trump was quiet on McCarthy's defenestration, the appreciation McCarthy got for his more branded today than in 2016, McCarthy strolled to his predetermination with a blade going to be established in his back. McCarthy's award for faithfulness to best drove him into the standard parkway of conservatives attempting to contain Trump. Typically, Trump requested what McCarthy couldn't convey, except if you get everything shut it down, each and every individual who chooses to be engaged with Trump definitely faces an inadmissible solicitation from McCarthy, situations, it was shutting down the public authority, which would be sad for the resort-like conservative greater part going into a political race, if someone has any desire to eliminate me in light of the fact that I need to be the grown-up in the room, go for it. McCarthy tested his foes, he was unable to get himself the end, clearly, to harm his party's power through a closure. So McCarthy confronted a decision of implosion, either losing the speakership ultimately or right away, he took his risks, Trump has considered to a riveted Iowa horde of supporters about his own conceivable destiny, assuming I'm plunking down and that boat is going down, and I'm on top of a battery, and the water begins flooding in, I'm getting concerned, however, at that point, I look ten yards to one side, and there's a shark around there, so I have a decision of electric shock and a shark. You understand what I will take. Electric shock. McCarthy figured he could get by obliging Trump, then at that point, he somehow accepted he could explore between the stone and the hard spot, in any case, he was as yet eaten by the sharks, he met the destiny of the multitude of different grown-ups in the room immediately, similar to a jack in the container. Shahanasi, Fox News, has sprung up to drift Trump as speaker, Rurt Murdoch, Hannity's past chief, has alluded to Hannity as an idiot and essentially, as per Murdoch recorder Michael Wolff, Hannity was playing the buffoon for a hit of evaluations heroin, yet he is a missive Trump robust, following him like a daddy figure, perhaps made sense of by his new story, coincidentally, when my dad would hit me with a belt, I didn't really speak loudly, we used to be the place that is known for the free. Home of the Valiant, what was the deal? When did we become the place that is known for the snowflake? Hannity's Creed Day was more impactful of the hidden brain research of tyranny than whatever he has at any point said, the wannabe tyrant, as Jen Milley calls him, is without hypothesis or fig leaf, as the preliminaries push ahead, as Trump mulls over the shark or electric shock, he projects as the pit and the pendulum fear into fierce dangers, the more noteworthy the apprehension he feels the more brutal the dangers he is followed by, Thanos' demise. Thanks for watching, please kindly let us know what you think about this in the comment section, and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Please note that this corrected text maintains the original words and does not change any content but adds punctuation and formatting to make it a proper transcript.